Kang has a real octopus inside. Was very concerned about the morals and modesty. Monopoly gives me just a perfect relaxed vibe and I totally get why people love it so much. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Monopoly, this wonderful town known for its food and views and beautiful architecture and I mean just look at the view I love this part of Italy so so much we are continuing our trip along the Puglia coast if you missed the previous vlog and yes go check them out but guys let's explore even more of this amazing region but before we do it don't forget to subscribe hit the bell button down below and now we can begin I won't believe you guys if you tell me that the first thing you're thinking of when hearing the word Monopoly is not a famous board game. However, it has nothing to do with the actual town of Monopoly because from Greek it translates as uh, Monopolis, which means uh, the single port, the single city, because apparently the first colonies here considered it to be the, the only port in the area, and so Monopoly was given its peculiar name. The history of this town spans across many, many, many centuries, because it has seen the Romans and uh, the Greeks and many other rules, and you know, it's so impressive how wherever you go in Italy you find this lots of history and you find even the tiny village or tiny city that has such an impressive history. The more we explore these amazing towns, the more and more I'm falling in love with the south of Italy. I totally get the charm of this area and I totally get why people love it so much. I haven't been to Puglia before, this is my first time here. And well, I'm sold guys, I love it. These towns are incredible, the food is great, the people are nice and welcoming and how can you not love this region? So guys, uh, today for lunch I'm having this very peculiar thing. This is the special panino with an octopus that you can try when you are in Puglia. So guys, uh, I'm so excited about it. I really, really wanted to try it when I've been researching local dishes. This is actually kind of a street food, but just look at this panino. I mean, it's huge and it has a real octopus inside. So let's try it. I'll we'll probably leave it here. Ah, so excited. Guys, it's so incredibly good. I have no words. I wish you could try it and also smell it. If you love seafood, Puglia is your destination because you can find so many amazing things like this here. So my panino has the fried octopus, tomatoes and some cheese, fior di latte, inside. And trust me guys, it's incredibly good. Guys, as always, I will leave you all the links to all the places that I visit in the description box, so check it out. This place was absolutely amazing. The girl who owns this place was very nice and welcoming and friendly. The food was delicious. So yeah, check the description for every place. And under all my videos, I always leave you the places that we visit in it. So yeah, check them out. Guys, if you want even more tips about Puglia and Italy, traveling here and even living here, don't forget that I have a Patreon page. I will leave you a link in the description box, so check it out and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything because I make regular posts every week about traveling, my best travel tips and itineraries and hotel deals, restaurants, panoramic views, all that you need to know when planning a trip to Italy.
The south of Italy is actually considered more religious than the north of Italy, typically. And actually, you can see lots of these tiny little shrines on different uh, houses. And I think this is really cute. From these tiny ones, depicting figurines of the saints to bigger ones, and there are a lot of them. Speaking of religion, guys, it is actually very, very common for Italian towns and cities to have their own patron saint. And I think virtually any uh, village or town or city that you take in Italy would have at least one. And it would be quite a huge deal, you know, because there would be one day, their first day uh, during the year when they would be celebrated and there would be different processions uh, in the city. And yeah, it's, so it's, it's a quite a big deal. But here in Monopoly, they brought the things even further. The patron saint of Monopoly is Our Lady of Maria, who, according to the legend, was brought here by the sea. And she celebrated not once, but twice a year, on the 15th of August and on the 16th of December. And the Cathedral of Monopoly is called uh, after their patron saint, and it is so, so beautiful. In general, the architecture here is very peculiar, it's very special, mostly Baroque, but not only, and it's so different from the rest of Italy. And let's go with me, I want to show it to you, because you have to see it. Come! The urban legend, guys, says that this wall behind my back was built here to prevent the strong wind from lifting up the skirts of all the ladies who were coming here to the cathedral to attend the mass. Apparently, they were wearing the skirts much longer than mine, and uh, the archbishop of this place was very concerned about the morals and modesty, and so he ordered the construction of this wall because the winds here are very, very strong and very frequent. And actually, even now here, there is some wind, so you can imagine, without this wall, this piazza would be completely open, and so the winds would probably be really, really strong. And so, yeah, this is how, according to the legend, this wall appeared here, basically closing the piazza from one side. Guys, Monopoly gives me just a perfect relaxed vibe, a perfect place for a romantic getaway, for example, or if you just want to have a serene and relaxed holiday, you know, drinking your cocktail with beautiful views and enjoying the streets without crowds of tourists passing by you and just, you know, with a, a little bit of calm. So, cheers! And that's it for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you fell in love with Monopoly as much as I have, because this town is absolutely charming. This is the last vlog of this Puglia trip, so I hope you enjoyed the rest of them. I will leave you a link up here if you haven't seen them, so go watch them all. We have been to plenty of places and we absolutely loved all of them. So before we say bye, guys, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button down below because we'll soon be back with more vlogs from Italy and not only Italy. And don't forget to like, comment and share this video with your friends so I can make even more videos like this. Thank you so much for being here and please enjoy your day.